Oh, I just realized that the mute the mic was muted. Hi. We're back. We uh, I had some really helpful comments in the last YouTube video about uh, what spot the gas canister goes in, so thank you for that. Ta-da! Nope, that's a tree. I thought for a second that it was a radio tower. It's not. <laughs> Hello, lad. Again. I don't know where all the lag is coming from. But it's definitely kicking up a fuss, isn't it? Uh, I was also warned that the snowmobile may not be as exciting as I'm hoping, other than that, yes, it'll take me from point A to point B fast, but it also chugs through the uh, gas pretty quickly, so you have to constantly keep making stops to refill it. I don't know if I've said it yet. I'm sure I have. I am playing this blind. I haven't seen anybody else's playthrough of it. Um, something that I do try to do in all the games that I play is I do definitely try to play blind on purpose. Uh, I think overall uh, it can just be a lot more interesting that way. I'm not a very good tutorial person. Uh, so, I mean, to give a good tutorial, you'll have to play through the game a couple of times, right, to get it down pretty good. And that's, that's not me. So I just rather play and uh, know that you guys are watching and keeping me company. Even if it's after the fact, that's okay too. there going to be a log cabin around the lake? That's where I would put a log cabin. Yep. There's something over there. I can see it. Looks like a green silo. Which is probably good because I think our character is getting slapper. Let's get closer to the lake. I'm curious. Ooh. Hi, lad. A sound of an animal that I am not appreciating. Oh, 
um, that Musa's scale is a little incorrect. Oh, yep, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> All right, so we're at the fishing spot. Hello. We haven't found a gun yet. Oh, I don't know how well it's coming through on the headset, but or on the speakers, but there is the soundtrack of very gentle la uh, waves on the. Uh, Closer we get, the more you can hear it. Are these ice fishing huts? That is what they are, right? Ice fishing huts? I have kind of a funny story to tell you guys about ice fishing huts that's kind of embarrassing. Uh, or ice fishing in general. So I grew up in the south originally, and uh, my dad was a military man, and we moved... Frozen. Oh. Maybe I can break the ice. Okay. Look at that. That was, that was really easy. Uh, we're gonna need a fishing pole, I take it, huh? Um, anyway, so I originally grew up in the south and I uh, was used to the warm weather and not so much this this cold weather stuff. And I remember uh, we moved up here to Minnesota in the summertime, in the beginning of summer, and everybody, every adult told me, oh, you're gonna be so excited for uh, uh, winter because winter's, you know, magical and fun. Sure. And, uh, yeah, you'll have a good time. And I'm like, oh, okay, okay, I believe you. Uh, man, this place is a mess. Why can't I open these bags? Anyway, um, so winter hit, and I actually really did like it. People were uh, very kind about it, and I was excited to be here. And I remember people talking heavily about uh, ice fishing. And no one really explained to me what ice fishing was. Maybe they just assumed I knew, but they would talk about ice fishing. And I was like, oh, that, that seems cool. Uh, in my mind, my little kid's mind, when they said the lakes, because they would talk about how the lakes have to freeze over, I thought they meant the entire lake froze and that they would be sitting there chiseling out the fish of a frozen lake. And I was so confused why anybody, anybody would want that. It turned out that wasn't it at all. Do I have the wrong kind of fire? Uh, well, it's firewood. Oh, I gotta do tinder first. Well, I am... Alright. Put that in there. water in there. I'm going to drink some of my tea. Okay. And And uh, so <laughs> it wasn't until actually probably a good solid three or four years after I moved to Minnesota and someone actually took me out ice fishing and I realized what the ice fishing process really was that it, they're drilling a hole in the water is still formed underneath but uh, <laughs> I never did tell anyone in that moment what I thought ice fishing was but I didn't tell anyone until I was an adult that I actually admit what I thought they meant because <laughs> I was so embarrassed Oh no, it's snowing in here. There's snowings. Weep. Well, I'll stay. 
and we're hungry. Someone was kind enough to tell me that you can use the plants for this, and that made me happy, so I'm going to get rid of these real quick. Alright, so the crafting menu, this is the one where I have too much going on. I put the money in there? You can put the money in there. That's hilarious. Destroy, 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 destroy. I'm going to go ahead and destroy these. I haven't, I haven't seen a gun yet. So, wrong button. Uh, take a few days off and I forget how to play. Alright, so do we have a fishing pole? Fishing tackle. I need a bone hook. Not quite sure how that happens. A rope. I'm gonna guess I have to kill something. <laughs> You know, we were in the hunting shack, and I didn't find a gun there, which is a bit surprising. Alright, um... Okay, so let's go this way. While I drink my very, very hot tea. It's so good. Okay. Fishing camp. Guessing that's sawmill. And the city is that way. Okay. So let's go this way. coming around the corner. I don't want to play with the moose. Uh, but I can tell you the moose are bigger than that. Moose tend to be about the size of a large car up to the uh, size of a truck. How do I know this, you ask? It's because I've seen a lot of them. <laughs> Nothing like an angry mother moose right after calving season. Uh, there was one, uh, it, was, it actually turned out to be an out-of-state car, which kind of makes sense because most natives know uh, to stay the flip away from them, but uh, they wanted to take a picture of the moose, uh, of her calf, and the moose came by and stomped on his little, his little car, <laughs> crumpled it like a piece of paper. It's kind of funny. Felt a little bad for the guy, but kind of funny. It's always uh, shocking at how many people don't realize that wildlife is wildlife and that uh, maybe, just maybe, they're not there for your entertainment. And that maybe... You shouldn't stop to try to pet them. Uh, I just 
taking a small detour. There's probably nothing to see over here and I may regret it. Especially if we run across a bear. Is a big body of water. Uh, that's the that's the fishing area, isn't it? Just around the corner. Back this way. Trying to decide if the sound of the water is appropriate for its movement. Maybe. With how cold it is, I'm actually slightly surprised it's not more frozen over. But I guess then that it would take the challenge away, right? Because uh, no one wants to get wet in the water, and if it's frozen, then you could just easily walk over it. This is not where I expected to be at all. Because that's my icon, right? I actually thought I was going to be up in this way. How did I get all the way down here? Uh oh. See a location right there. Alright, what is this building over here about? Oh, being guarded by a giant mare. That's what that's about. Anybody there? <laughs> it's, 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 it's so cool. 
quiet and the entire time his voice scared me. <laughs> I legit jumped. I don't know if you could see the mouse when I jumped, but I jumped. <laughs> Oops. Whoopses. I don't need matches. <laughs> Why can't I drive one of these big things around? I mean, my guys made hatchets and weapons out of uh, string and rock. You'd be able to hotwire a car, right? That's a scrap metal. I don't know what that purpose is for, but all right. Oh, are these lockers openable? They are. Uh, another lighter, which I don't need, but we'll consume that. Consumed mad bull. <laughs> right, there's like apple juice in that. Moral rifle. There's got to be a gun somewhere. I was expecting it at that hunting cabin, but... Oop. Chocolate bar. Okay, what's going on back here? Anything? Scrap metal. Bone. Vug. So, I mean, clearly it's a place where you'd stop by and get uh, gas. I can't help but notice that there is no gas canister here. No more matches. I hear the bear. I'm choosing to stay far away from the bear. Okay, well, that was a big bit of nothing. No map, no gas canister, though we do know now that this is the place to get gas. All right, so we're gonna continue this way. What do we got going on here? Village and coal mine. I'm gonna go to the coal mine and then we'll backtrack and go to the village. know if it's the same village as the one that we were at, but I don't think so. Map-wise, it doesn't work out. Let's 
What's with this white fog? Pardon me, so. So is this area always going to have the whiteout, or is this just the weather right now and it doesn't matter where I am, it's going to have this whiteness? Just asking because we haven't seen this whiteness elsewhere. I know that this game is still like early access. I do wish that there was a lot more lore, more notes to read, that kind of thing to tell us uh, more of the backstory of the people that were on the island. Oh, sorry, deer. Was that the deer that just walked right in front of me? I think it was. Past the mine because of uh, how cloudy it is, I am gonna laugh. Oh, we're somewhere. Where that somewhere is, I am not. Oh, here we are. Enjoy the heat for a second. Okay. A glowing stick. Probably a good excuse to go into the mines. I would probably want a torch, I would think, but... glow stick is going to absolutely give out while I'm down here, isn't it? Okay, dead end.
We're already getting a little lost. Okay, dead end. either one. Alright, another dead end. That makes it a little easier to figure out where I am. Not sure what's with these pipes. Inventory was full. What would I care about over here? Anybody know? That's a charcoal. Not sure what I want with charcoal. I noticed that the charcoal appeared in the like first aid section, which I think charcoal is used like to for tummy issues. I thought. Dead end. Dead end. Look at the stretched textures of the rocks. Eep. Eep. Okay. Let's go back. There keeps, when we're walking through, there's a glowing on the pillars there, and I keep thinking it's something to pick up, but I think it's an accidental glowing. I don't think it's supposed to glow. kind of a, there was nothing really in here, was there? That was a bit of a bust. can't open these vehicles. Hmm. There's really nothing to see. Close that door. Close that one. Oop. <laughs> it. Inventory full at the nine. Alright. What a view. <laughs> I don't can't see it, but he said it. I'm going to keep the video short today. Uh, I will be back soon. We'll explore more of the island. Thanks for joining me, guys.